Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And uh, I'm sitting here, got off the phone with uh, beloved brother Shapatya at uh, Chicago, man. <laughs> and I was sparked to do this lesson, you know, pretty much, you know, where are the answers from ancient Kemet? All right. To uh, why we're in this condition. All right. Um, will we get out of the condition? OK, what's next? Will America go forever? OK, should we take the MOTB, which is definitely coming down the pipe? Should we take the jab? Right. When you deal with the comedic community, their pastime is ultimately just mocking the scriptures. OK, that's all they do. All right. But when it comes to the bugged out madness. All right. That uh, is associated with the comedic gods. You notice there's a silence now. I'm talking about since 2008, we've been dealing with the same questions. All right, and we're in a we're, we're we're in different times, man. That that whole topic of rape, it's been broken down. We ain't dealing with it no more, man. Right, the whole, that that whole topic's played out. And when you look at it, ironically, the 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 true rape amongst our community is coming from the comedic community. All right, uh, you you ever heard of uh, Africa Bombada? All right, you ever heard of uh, allegedly polite Malachi York and many many more weirdos have creeped out of the comedic community dealing with this bugged out philosophy. Now, when you go into the ancient comedic culture, you know. There's a lot of things that you niggas are crying about that the same thing, like, 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 for instance, a woman being given into marriage at 12, 13 or 14 years old is bugged out to you all, according to the way it was done in the ancient world in our culture. Right. We bring that out. You screaming, you, you, you going crazy. All right. But meanwhile, look, look at Shaka Amos. All right. Look at all of the homosexuality and the weirdo. Ism <laughs> that is a, a, a synonymous with Kemet in the in the in the people, but 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 in ancient Kemet, in ancient Egypt, women were given unto marriage at the same time. You all say we wear in dresses. Well, let's go look at some of the ancient attire, <laughs> right? Of the 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 the, the men in Kemet, they wore what you would call dresses at times, right? So, and it's all bugged out. Because let's go into the creation story of the ancient Kemetic gods. See, this is the thing you all, you Kemet cats, because Sonetta said, I'm Kemet for the rest of my life. We'll deal with the Kemetic gods. Let's talk about the Kemetic gods for once. Can we at, at one point, at some point, we got to deal with the Kemetic gods and hear what the hell they got to say. Now, here it is. You all scoff the existence of a god or a higher power. Kemet believed in many gods right you had the god of the wind the god of the air the eagle god the crocodile god and here it is you had women putting crocodile dung in their vaginas as a form of contraceptive as a form of birth control right now what if we for years continue to ask y'all about that we don't even bring it up you see how weird and bugged out Kemet is. And Kemet is highly synonymous with America. America is highly synonymous with Kemet when you go into its customs. And is America a good thing for us? Hell no. The creation story of ancient Kemet, which is about four or five of them, and the most bugged out one is a particular god who 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 who, who beats off. You know what beats off means, right? He, he basically masturbates 
And ultimately, when he ejaculates, he ejaculated existence into existence. He ejaculated the sun, the moon, the planets. Okay, how about the one with Gab and Nut? Okay, where, 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 uh, how about the, the, the creation, dealing with the creation story where the one God, all right, uh, 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 fundles himself, <laughs> all right, beats off and then ejaculates in some lettuce. Let's get into the comedic gods. That's what you all should do on your next shows. Go into the comedic gods and tell us what is their answer. According to what's going on now, how does it help? All right, because we constantly go into process. We constantly show you in the scriptures why what's happening now is happening, what to do, what's next, the hope of a kingdom. Do we have a kingdom according to ancient Kemet? What does Kemet mean? How do we apply it now to help the situation that we're in? What writings can we go to where a, a, a comedic God told us why we would be in captivity? Because we damn sure went into captivity. Now, this is the thing. You all believe in, uh, uh, you, you, well, here it is. Uh, some of you are atheists. Some of you mock the existence of a higher power. But then ancient Kemet was based upon many gods. As a matter of fact, Let's just do it. Let's just look it up. Right? Let's just look up. Let's just look up comedic gods. Let's see here. The gods of Kemet. The gods of ancient Egypt, which Kemet is just a Hebrew word for Ham, 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 and we're not Hamedic. Okay, it just means heat. All right. Let's see here. A complete list of the Egyptian gods, because we're so crazy, right? We're so bugged out and we're bringing out ancient customs. So, of course. With the way we were raised here in America, the things that we're bringing out are going to be uh, kind of they're going to uh, mess with you in the flesh. We get it. But at some point, you niggas got to grow up and see we're living in when you're not going to grow up. So you're going to blow up. All right. Through the Holy Spirit, man. And them nukes are coming. So. Let's see here. I just want a list. OK, you got. Uh, ah. An early moon god who evolved into Aya is also known as Yah. Now, a lot of people say that the biblical god, Yahweh was stolen from the story of ancient Kemet. Prove it. And then, if the, if the scriptures were stolen from ancient Kemet, okay, then go into the ancient Kemet documents, show us what we should be doing. Because the Bible deals with law, statutes, commandments, it condemns the gods of Kemet. It condemns worshiping the sun, the moon, the stars, animals like the ancient comedic uh, uh, culture did. And you niggas ain't celebrating and, and practicing the ancient commit. The, the closest you niggas get is Shaka Amos. And look at that disaster. What is that? And Polite played, you know, he, he came into the com community, most likely an agent. He popped up on some black power shit. Okay. You're doing all these debates. Years later, he, he went into Hollywood and said, to hell with you niggas. The Jews are, are good. <laughs> Ekin. Okay. And show me where the most high God, Yahweh, okay, is, is dealing with a, a moon God. Okay. That goes into the, uh, with the, uh, the, the Islam. They, they, they worship the, 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 the moon God. The scriptures specifically Okay, uh, 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 condemn the worship of the moon. Akin, Acre, okay, what a custodian of the boat which reef, uh, ferried souls across Lily. Get, get, what the, nigga? How does this help me right now? 
Because here you mock God. The, the, what, their God, oh, their God said this. They believe in their God. They don't think their God is ever wrong. God, uh, the God of the Bible. That's all you niggas do. But go into these gods. You say Kemet is the way. Go into the gods of ancient. Because you can't say that they didn't worship gods. I, I am, I, I had, I'm here. The God of the underworld, devourer of millions, the eater of eternity. This nigga, ate, he just eats eternity. You know that nigga fool. But he, he's a God. He don't get fool. He just eats eternity. Aminette, the goddess who welcomed the dead to afterlife with food and drink. So here it is, you dead. Right? And that's what a lot of these <laughs> the comedic, uh, you know, the Egyptian book of the dead is it, dealing with afterlife. It's instruction for what you should do after you die. But I'm alive. The scriptures say that God, he's, God is the God of the living. Now, there's order in the spirit world. But, but prophecy is played out on earth. And we are living in a time where prophecy is being fulfilled. What's the answer, Jack? Show me. At what point are you comedic cats? Because you try to pit... This camp against that camp. I ask you, BK, say this. And, and, and you think you playing chess, Sonetta. The most high, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, and the holy angels are <laughs> playing chess with you. Now, you say GMS is the most diligent and, and, and sincere of the Hebrew groups. It's, it's through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Okay, cool. Now what? Now what? Because if you came it for life, the, the God of the Bible, you can't, yeah, you can't be lukewarm. You got to either, you know, but hey, you all do what you all will. Because once this truth, once this judgment comes, I'm in Ra. We always hear about this one, the God of the sun and the air. One of the most popular gods. So as many gods in Egypt. Go into them gods. Okay, you already showed us you don't believe in the God, Yahweh. You mock Yahweh Shai. Okay, you have told us this uh, primarily since 2008. Once all of those debates, start, we get it. So at what point are you going to go into your gods, your way, and your, because and your, you niggas are really Americans. You're Americans. At the end of the day, and how you think, your customs, what you eat, the the, the holidays you celebrate. What the wait, wait, do you, what do you uh what's what's the name of that uh this this uh holiday this so called black holiday? I forget the name of Kwanzaa. Okay, where, where, where's the where's the Egyptian holy days? You here it is. You at our, you at the Passover, right? That's a holy day of the Bible. You at the Passover. When are you gonna go into the holy days of Kemet? What should we be doing? You have to have holy days. That's a part of a culture. Here in America, they have Halloween, which some of you probably dressing your kids up as ancient committed gods and goddesses. Nigga jumping off the roof, doing backflips. Right? Probably dressing up as skeletons. And a lot of you Kemet cats are into the world. You're into America, this culture, right? So what do we need to do, man? Like, okay. I'm Munhotep. Son of Hapu, the god of healing and wisdom. Okay. Amunet, female counterback of Amun. What does she do? Anat, the god of fertility. I mean, and we only in A. Apep, the celestial serpent. Baalet Gabal, Phoenician goddess of the city Bybilos, a proctor deity incorporated into Egyptian worship through her association with Papyrus, which came from Babylos. Is that Babylon? Or Babel or Sumeria? What is that? We'll see. We'll, we'll look it up one day. And 144, call hello, y'all. Now we in the bees. All right. Babi. All right. Fertility. Ver, uh, fertility. Virility depicted as a baboon and symbolizing male sexuality. Let's go into him. 
right? Let's go on to Bobby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do a lesson on him. Shit, yeah, like, well, why, why, how about we get cameras and roll up on y'all, which we're not going to do it, and question you about each of these guys and get the, we need the breakdown, man, because you niggas have went too far just mocking and laughing at the Bible. Okay, we get it. Some of you are too old to be acting the way you acting. You look at the comments in the, in the comment section, it's childish. Okay, it, 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 it's, it's uh, wicked. Okay. And it's downright unprofessional, <laughs> right? The way you niggas were on the comment boards talking about it. The women talking shit. The men just, just, just nothing but contra. Just you ain't really listening to us to get the break. You don't believe us. You don't. It's, it's okay. We get it. Now what, nigga? Okay. Goodness gracious. If you Kimmit for life, go into Kimmit. Show me. Kimmit for life. But all y'all talk about is this paper money, which is about to be done away with. So my thing is, what's next? What do we do about the system that they're implementing and setting in place? Do we just go along with it because we got to eat? Do we bow to the, the to, to this science? Because that's what they're implementing. They're implementing a religion on the earth. Okay, now we know what it truly is. It's Satanism. Right? Which is no, Satanism is not just one. It's many ways of rebellion, right? But they're, oh boy, look at this nigga. Imagine praying, praying and this guy shows up. Back, but, but, and we only in the B's. Now, I'm going to just keep scrolling D's. G, H. I mean, we only in the H. Do you see how many gods? How can these gods help me today? Go into it. We don't want to talk about Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai no more with you guys. You've already, ultimately, at the end of the day, you've asked the same question since 2008. What about rape? Rape, 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 rape. You guys are infatuated with rape. Then you got people on the comment board, so rape don't mean to have sex? Let's look up the word rape. Now, it became later associated with sex. Well, let's, let's go to the etymology of the word rape. Rape. Late 14th century, to seize prey to abduct you got niggas on the comedic comment but that's kidnapping <laughs> that's kidnapping and from anglo-french all right to seize abduct seize rapier to seize to carry off by force that's what the word means goodness gracious now in the Latin, it was used for sex to sexually violate. Very rarely, right? But only very rarely. That term is not tied to sex. When you go to the root of it, nigga, ain't you supposed to be a scholar? Booty pray. <laughs> Goodness gracious, man. Have, have you ever saw the movie Troy? And you all looked at Troy. I bet you a lot of you niggas looked at Troy. Oh, I love that movie. Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith Yahweh, that take it counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit. And you bring these guys on who, who come with the ancient Kemet wisdom, and they just say something and then give you a website to buy something then they gone like nigga what do we need to do about what's going on now explain to me why this is happening what is this did any of the gods speak of this what, what's going on what biden's doing kamala's doing this government period america where is it mentioned in any of their ancient writings 
Okay, you just say a God shouldn't do that. A God wouldn't put us in captivity. Okay, well, your ass is in captivity. Did, did this nigga have something to do with it? Any of these niggas have something to do with it? Maybe he has something to do with it. Osiris, right? Did he have something to do with it? Now, when you deal with a lot of these comedic gods, they became incorporated into what is today known as Christianity, which we don't deal with Christianity, neither does the Bible. At the time of Constantine, they incorporated these different gods, okay, into the Bible. That's what your church is today. That's where they go into ancient Kemet and they show you the cross. See, the Bible. No, that's Christianity. Zeitgeist. You look up these, you say there's all this. this, this no, 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 no. The God of the Bible don't say he was born on December 25th. That's all dealing with sun worship. Okay. Anyway, man. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirits, that they may add sin unto sin, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And this is the shadow of Egypt, man. But I just wanted to go into that, man. Let me get into class. Shalom.